Hello everybody. Today I'm going to put the first coat of finish on a brand new guitar. Uh, let me show you what this one is like. It has a, a very, very nice alpine spruce top. And the back and sides are a new material, which, you know, an old dog like me doesn't get a chance to try out new wooden materials very often. But this is extraordinary stuff. Um, from Italy, I believe it's um, it's chestnut, and you, you can see how curly it is in the in the white. And soon we'll see how beautiful it looks with a coat of finish on it. So what I'm going to use for finish is um, one of my favorite in, room temperature cure epoxies, and this is. Um, West System Epoxy. I'm going to mix up 10 grams of resin and 2 grams of hardener. And I'm going to just do the top um, for now. First thing. First thing is the top. Okay. So, yeah, it's, you should use, usually use a little more time than you think to mix epoxy. Um, it's bad if it's not completely mixed. And you can't over mix it. So. <laughs> this epoxy is going to do several things for us. One is, um, as you'll see in a moment, it it has a, uh, the correct index of refraction um, for to be a good complement to wood. And so it looks beautiful as soon as you put it on. It makes the wood look fantastic. You can see that it's not quite clear. There's a little bit of an amber tone to it that comes from the hardener component and it's it doesn't add a lot of color but there's a little color and it's in the right direction so we've got this this wood is sanded to um, a very fine surface and um, I like to use 800 grit and then finish off with um, a 1500 grit or 12 to 1500 grit kind of um, sanding sponge that works really, really well. So here, the job is just to coat the instrument with this resin. Make sure everything gets wet. Um, The wood will only accept a little bit of epoxy. Uh, much is made of epoxy penetrating wood, but in my testing and experience, I haven't really found that it goes in very far at all. The wood can only accept a little bit of it before it stops taking it. And so we're going to expect that this 10 grams of epoxy material is going to be more than enough to wet out the, the spruce.
I'm using a paper towel, but it's not the kind of paper towel that you'll be able to get locally. It's a Kimberly Clark product, and it's designed to replace uh, rags in workshops. It's lint-free, um, reasonable cost, and uh, it's just an amazing, great piece of paper. <laughs> um, and it uh, does a beautiful job here. It doesn't scratch the material. There's, there's nothing abrasive in it. <clears throat> and as, as you can see, this is nice and calm. We have about 15 minutes after we mix up this epoxy at, uh, at 70, say 70 degrees Fahrenheit about, about 15 minutes to play with it before it starts uh, getting stiff, and um, so it's important to keep moving, but we don't have to rush. So there's not a lot that can go wrong with this kind of finishing, but I promise you, if you don't wipe it all off, you'll be sad. That's the one thing that has to happen. The epoxy that can be removed from the surface must all be removed in order for this method to work as well as it can. So I'm going to give just a little wipe around the edge. That's right. We'll make sure that we haven't missed any place. So we are going to get the benefit of the sealing properties of epoxy. It's going to help slow the transfer of moisture from the outside of the instrument into this surface. And like, like any surface, that any finish, excuse me, any finish that you would use on a musical instrument, its function is also to keep the wood clean, um, exclude dirt and oils and whatever else may come in contact with it while it's being played and used. Um, <clears throat> and there's some awfully nice things that come about from this epoxy that might not meet the eye when you first consider it as a primer. This is a primer coat, really. And one of the things that happens with this material is that if you get a little dent in the instrument, um, and by little dent, I mean a dent that does not um, break any of the wood fibers, right? So they're just distorted or displaced. They're not shattered. Uh, you can steam that dent out with a little heat and moisture. And in many cases, you won't be able to find where that dent was. So that's, that's pretty great, huh? This is something that other finishes don't do, and I don't want to promise 
<laughs> that it'll fix everything, but it can fix a lot of little problems that occur just regular wear and tear that happens normally. So I'm going to use several pieces of clean towel to make sure that I'm getting everything off. And just the same way that you can't mix the epoxy too much, you can't rub it off too much. <laughs> it's um, important to get every darn molecule you can off. And if we do this right, this surface will be ready for the next coat of finish without further ado. And that's our goal. Okay, so after I've gotten the big surface taken care of, while I'm in this position, I'll also uh, put a little finish on this surface here. And the edge of the sand hole. It's not impossible to recover from leaving a little extra epoxy on the surface, but it's no fun either. Got to go back to sandpaper and try and get, you get your mistakenly left behind epoxy off, and it's no fun. But Fortunately, it wipes right off, easy to do. And very important. So you can see the instrument has a soft glow now. And um, it, it, the fine sandpaper that we've used on the wood is really paying off. So this will take, um, Oh, five hours to cure at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and then we can move on to the next step. All right, so now we're gonna put finish on the sides and the back of the instrument. And I have this little fixture here that, um, that helps to hold the guitar for that job. <laughs> 